Ha, directief is thee. Goed. Uh, je vader en ik wisten dat deze dag ooit een keer zou komen. En ja, om heel eerlijk te zijn, die hadden we eigenlijk veel eerder verwacht. Ja, ja. Veel eerder. Maar het is allemaal heel natuurlijk hoor, dat er dan een moment komt waarop jij je begint af te vragen ja, waarom je anders bent. Ja, waarom denk je dat je zo heet, jongen? Het is niet omdat je homoseksueel bent. Hoor. Short calf muscle. Get the, get the ball rolling here. Yeah. Okay, so the vulnerability is amazing throughout the entire film. I mean, starting off with him, you know, the various stages of undress, and it's just a disarming thing, and then the just watching him figure out what's going on. It's just very, like, we've all kind of been there in one way or another. We all see ourselves differently than other people see us, and then, like, one instant, sends us into a different reality, you know, and we see ourselves the way other people see us because of one thing that happened. So I, I like the vulnerability of it. It was great. This being a gnome from our perspective out here was sort of a made up thing, which is exactly what race is. It's a made up thing. And, and so I thought that really visualized it extremely well. Yeah, it kind of reminded me of uh, It's a Wonderful Life kind of concept in a way, too. Like, even his mother doesn't recognize him. And he's <laughs> just known as something other than we see him as a tall white man. Yeah. Instead of a short uh, gnome. Uh, at the end, they called him a radicalized gnome, actually. <laughs> so it was something like a terrorist or something like that. Was, it, it was being... At work, it was interesting because they had uh, applied so many labels on him, yet everyone was like okay with it. Even his boyfriend was like, yeah, but that's what attracted me yeah. to you in the first place. Yeah. So I thought that was very good. Yeah, yeah, that's the funny thing about the film, where it's like everybody's fine, like even though it's insane, but everybody's fine with who he is. He, it's just that he doesn't want to be, that's the perception of it. Which is kind of, yeah, kind of like it's the first comment. It's kind of like a, we all there's we all kind of can relate to that in a sense, right? Where we have a perception of ourselves, and yeah, so it's kind of used that way. We'll I like the way the way it was shot. It was the simplicity of it, the symmetry, and the color scheme. How, for example, the two boyfriends were sitting together, where he was. The the contrast between their colors and the use of, of sort of simple symmetry and the composition was very well done, and the, and the movement of the camera was very subtle, but uh, well controlled. We go with this film, nice, nice performance, like that's a top one performance where it's like everybody's in scene but you're the only seen one or vice versa, so he just kind of had that, that perfect face for this film. Either comments to make about this film before we go to the next